What's going on guys? Tony here with For The Core. Today I want to talk to you guys about meeting with a recruiter. All right, whether you've already set up an appointment with them for the first time or whatever the case may be. All right, how to walk into that recruiting office and have a good conversation. All right, because this is a big deal. And a lot of times what holds people back from joining the military altogether, I think is just a fear of taking that first step and setting up a meeting with a recruiter. Right, it's intimidating. You're scared. But I hope that the things that I'm going to lay out for you in this video are going to kind of help, you know, dispel some of those myths and kind of calm your nerves a little bit. All right. So number one is walk into that recruiting office with a plan. All right. You don't want to walk in there without knowing anything about the Marine Corps or the military, right? You want to do your research and your due diligence beforehand. Understand the different MOSs. Understand that it's a four-year contract, right? Have a general idea of what you want to get out of the Marine Corps and what you want it to do for you. All right. Kind of have an idea of what MOS is you're considering, which leads me to my next point is you want to walk in there with a list of questions that you can ask them. All right. And lucky for you guys, I made a video, 20 questions to ask your military recruiter links right here above. Check that video out. Also made a blog post to it. All right. So if you want those questions and you can print them out, Visit forthecore.com. Links also up above. Um, but you guys want to have these questions because, look, this is important. This is one of the most important days of your life if you're considering joining the military. All right, you really want to have a solid list of questions because, look, it's an interview at the end of the day. And it's you interviewing the recruiter, right? They are the ones trying to sell you on the military, all right? So what are they going to be able to provide for you that another civilian job well, right? I know the military is totally different, but at the end of the day, look, it's your career path potentially. All right. The next thing I want you guys to keep in mind is I want you to be as confident as possible when you walk into that recruiting office. All right. And steps one and two, right? Having a plan, doing your due diligence and having a list of questions is going to help with that confidence level when you walk in there. All right. Yes, it's going to be intimidating. Yes, you're going to be nervous. But the thing you guys got to keep in mind is you are interviewing them, right? They want you to sign up. You don't necessarily need them. They need you. So you guys should be walking in there with your head held high, right? Because look, this is your career ultimately. And you are the one that should be guiding that conversation. The next thing I want you guys to understand is you're not signing anything. All right. A lot of people get hung up on the idea that when they walk into that recruiting office for the first time, they're signing their life away right then and there. All right. That's not the case. You're going to have multiple appointments, right? They're going to want to meet with your parents if you're going alone for the first time. Um, there's going to be multiple things that you guys are going to have to jump through before you even get to that dotted line where you sign your life away, all right? And even when you sign that paperwork, you can still back out. So you don't have to worry about that shit. You're not going to be shipping off to boot camp right when you walk into that recruiting office, all right? And the last point I want to make is be patient with the process. All right, recruiters are extremely busy. All right, I hear a lot of people saying, yeah, my recruiter's taking a while to get back to me. Look, they're held to strict deadlines. They got a certain amount of people they need to sign up each month and their bosses are freaking riding their asses to get shit done. All right, so you guys need to be patient. Don't be freaking bugging them every second of the day. Don't be texting them, calling them multiple times a day, all right? Have a plan, like I said. Your recruiter... When they know that you're serious about joining, they're going to give you a plan. They're going to give you a routine and they're going to give you, uh, you know, dates and times to show up to that recruiting office and participate in the pulley functions. All right. So you guys need to hold yourselves accountable and the recruiters are going to do the same. All right. But just know that they're extremely busy and be patient with them. All right. So check it out. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry, I've been gone for a little bit. I have been focusing on social media, and I am just trying to create an all-around resource for you guys, all right? So if you haven't done so already, visit ForTheCore.com. I've been posting a bunch of content on there, and check it out. If you guys want to know more about fitness or working out or whatever the hell you guys want to learn more about, drop it in the comments below. And also join the Discord channel. Link's up here above. Also down in the description down low. Join the Discord, guys. We got almost 170 members in there, and it's growing every day. All right. Everybody's pretty active. You can ask your questions. Talk to me directly. And 
check it out. I just want you guys to succeed. All right, so if there's any way that I can assist you guys in doing so, I'd be more than happy to. Like I said, thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, and I'll be seeing you guys real soon. This is Tony with For the Core, Semper Fi.